Alright, today we're going to edit a picture. I made the picture from a previous program I had from this thing called Processing. I think it's in C++, I'm not sure, but I call it Seizure Time and you see why. It just makes it a random background color or a random box and just fly around, so I changed it up a little bit. Made this program that just has a static box. Took a screenshot of this. And here's the picture we'll be editing today. Put your picture in the same folder as your program. So open up your program. First thing you want to write is import cv2. That's going to be our computer vision library. If you need to get it, a pip install opencv-python. If you don't have numpy as well, it's just going to download numpy for you. But it'll get the packages it needs with its own opencv. And then import numpy as mp. Now let's read in our image. Image equals cv2 dot im read. Put your path name. And now we want to get the height, uh, the width, and the number of channels which is three. But it still comes out of this image dot shape. If it's a numpy array dot shape, it gives you out the dimensions. So the first one is how high up it is, width is how long it is, and then the depth is channels. We have three channels, three colors. So it'll be R G B of this way will be the width, this way is the height, and the channels is three of those matrices. If it'll be your full screen, this screen is 1080p, so it'll be 1920 wide by 1080 down and three colors deep. Okay, so what I want to do with my picture is I want to make these lines a little bit thicker. So we need to go through every single pixel and see whenever it's really close to being really, really dark. So it's a R value of zero, G value of zero, and B value of zero, right? Whenever it hits the, one of these points here. I'm going to say the threshold is going to be equal to 10. That's going to be the RGB value over here on my screen. This is like close to 10, probably close to like zero. It goes from zero to 255 in 8-bit color. So now I'm going to go through the whole height of the picture. So 4i in range from 1 to h minus 1. There's going to be reason for this in the future. You'll see. So this is just going from top to bottom. Now we're going to go from left to right. So 4j in range 1 to width minus 1. Not the zeroth pixel, but the 1th pixel. And not to the very edge. I want to go to the 1 pixel off of there. Same with the top and the bottom, one to almost the end. Print out I comma J, just to make sure you're running through all those coordinates. And you see that it switches to two. We're going from the first row down to the second row, running through all those numbers again. Third row, we're going to run through all those numbers of our picture. Our picture isn't actually 1080p, so it, we're actually have a much smaller resolution picture. All right, let's bring in our RGB value. So actually, it's BGR for OpenCV. That's how they read them, I guess. I don't really know why, but just do BGR is equal to IMG of I and then J. So that's our position of whatever pixel we are at. Remember, we were printing out I, comma, J. Whatever pixel location we're at, so we're going to get the red, green, and blue values at that exact location on the image. And we're going to say if uh, B is less than threshold or G is less than threshold. I'm not going to use the R because it gets really weird with the picture and the specific colors that we're using. Sometimes there's zeros and stuff. So it's just, it's just not good to use for the specific picture. I was just I found that out through experimentation. But this is a really janky way to do it anyways. It's fine. Image of I, J equals 0, comma, 0, comma, 0. Blue, green, and red are 0 at this specific position. And I'm going to make all the surrounding pixels 0 as well. So we have a pixel, pixel right here at 0. I'm going to make the 1 right above it, right below it, right to left, right to right of it, and diagonals. Up one, right one, down one, left one, and down one, right one. All right, I'm not gonna actually have you listen. All right, I'm not actually gonna explain this, so that sucks for you, but um, I don't really feel like I'm talking about all this, so that's cool. But I just made all of the nine pixels, the one in the middle and eight surrounding it, all equal to zero. All right, so now let's actually take a look at what our image looks like. CV2.IM show, it's whatever you wanna call the window, you can call whatever ninjas and you put your variable name of your picture, so image. So we just edited image a little bit, now let's see what it looks like. I made an oopsie, I fixed it. And we broke it. Okay, and I remember how to fix this. I'm gonna make another variable called image n, and we're gonna edit image n inside of this. So now we're comparing the image's value, then we're gonna change this other image. Now this, this will actually fix it, I forgot what I was doing. You can tell there's a very big difference, so that every single pixel around it is gonna be changed a little bit. So next thing I want to do is blur this whole picture. So let's just um, average out a couple of these values around here, just make it kind of even. Actually, I'm just going to copy both of these loops right here, because we're going to go through the same exact image, the same range of numbers. And I also want to put another for loop. And on the outside of all of this, let's put 4k in range. Let's just say 2 for right now. If we have b1, g1, and r1 is equal to the image at this specific position of i and j, let's make the this this value right here of this image 
um, the average of all nine pixels. So like the one in the middle and then all eight surrounding it. So I'm going to get B1, G1, R1 for all of these exact positions as well. Alright, this is just brutality, so I'm not going to explain all these numbers. You get the point. And now we have to convert all of these numbers from, from whatever they're in right now. They're in U into 8, I'm pretty sure. And we have to convert them to plain integers to, to do some math on. Python doesn't like it for some reason. I don't know why. Alright, now I just type this out. But it just converts B1 to integer of B1, G1 to integer of G1, and does the whole thing up to 9. Now let's actually get the value of the B that we want to keep. So B is equal to round, the summation of all of our blue values, and then divide that by 9 because it's the average. Same thing with uh, green, same thing with red. Now let's just make our image. Not the new image, not image N, let's make the original image. The image of I, the position I, J, equal to the B, comma, G, comma, R that we just made. The average of all nine pixels around it, including itself. Now let's show what image we get from this. And don't be afraid if your program is running a pretty long time. Okay, I'm getting impatient, so I'm going to toss this guy in. If i um, is divisible by 10, whenever whenever you divide i by 10, you get no remainder, 0 as a remainder. That's i mod 10, modulus 10. And let's do print. Let's just round off the percentage of i divided by h times 100. And let's add in a little bit of a percent symbol. And I'm just going to copy and paste this into the other loop as well. Let's see what we get. And in the meantime, this thing already finished, and you can kind of see how it smoothed it out. So let's let's not run this right here, and let's run it up above first. All right, let's see what it, what it looks like before we do all this. Just take out all of our averaging. Okay, and now let's do the same thing. Let's compare to what it looks like after we average it all out. Oh, I forgot to uncomment this. Come on, let's go. Hurry up. This is what you get on your computers from 2007. Okay, so now it's a little bit fuzzier than before. Now let's run this in a range of 10. Just blurred 10 times more than what we did before. Now I want to save this image. Before, I am show was showing image new, the image n, and we were writing to the file image. So I'm actually going to write the image n to the file of new block. So now I just saved it. Um, and I changed the name to blur.png. I'm going to open up another file so we can make another program. Import your libraries, and I'm going to read it. I changed my that picture we took. I changed that picture we took to, I call it blur.png. Let's get the shape. And let's run through the same values of height and width. I want to make the, the picture have more dark pixels as we go down. It's going to make like a static kind of a picture. So at the top of the picture should be 0% chance, at the bottom should be 100% chance. I divide by H is a percentage. I'm going to compare it to random plane, random number generator. Let's sell values from 0 to 1 in decimals. Make the pixel 0, comma, 0, comma, 0. Let's just display our image. Runs very fast. And we can see at the top is 0% chance, at the bottom is 100% chance. So let's say actually, let's make this all random numbers. Let's make that a percentage of 255. We have to round it off for all three values. 0% chance, 100% chance. If you just want to make black boxes around parts of the picture, you can do that as well. Okay, so now we have a box of i from 100 to 200 and j 100 to 200. Image ij equals 0, comma, 0, comma, 0. So let's just make a black box in the middle of the picture. There you go. And that's photo editing in Python, basically. You can do the same exact thing to videos, and every single frame is basically an image, and you can edit every single frame individually. There we go. Finished product right here. Picture started as this and it ended as this. I'll put a link to my GitHub, this specific page where you can just go and download this block two picture if you want to press download. You can also get my two the two programs that we used and the final block picture, the blurred image. Later losers. Thank you.